Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to the Steel Mountain Type run of EV Emerald. Last time, well, we beat up a lot of trainers, but now we're out of trainers to beat. It's time to take on the Mobile City Gym. So this, as you can get, as you probably guessed, is an electric type gym. So naturally, some of the Pokemon in here aren't even electric type, or even no electric type moves necessarily. Like this Metatite, for example. No, I don't get it either. Yep, saw that one coming. You go. Another one. Okay. So yeah, if you're wondering what charge does. It boosts the next attack, uh, the next electric attack you use, but it also has, well, it also boosts your uh, special defense a little bit. Oh, I guess it does know an electric type attack. Hmm. Whatever. Not like it mattered much. Even a crit barely did anything. Ooh. Well, that was a crit, but still, that hurt! Okay. That's the first trainer de down. Um. Hmm. Nah. Take on this guy by himself first. Down you go. Of course, as a seal type, it means you can't poison me. Sucks to be you. Still need to put those up later. Eh, we'll use the potions to pop off. Tang here. And we have two more trainers. Hmm. We'll see about that. Real talk, Ilimus, Ilimise and Volbeat should really just be the same species. Because, really, Ilimise is just the female and Volbeat is the male. That's all it is. Of course. God damn it.
Let me guess, now you're gonna use Moonlight. This sucks. Come on, quit wasting my time. And then here comes out Volbeat. Now, Volbeat by itself, it sucks, but it does have one thing going for it. It's kind of interesting. It has a move called Tail Glow, which sharply boosts your special attack power. I believe it was the only move of its kind that did that in Gen 3. And there we go. So, that's all the gym trainers taken care of. I'm just going to go back to the Pokemon Center real quick, top off my power points to make sure I am ready. Okay, so, quick intermission. I decide, you know what? Watson is going to be a big pain in the ass, so I'm just going to evolve Aron really quick. Now, what makes him such a pain in the ass, you might ask? The answer is his Magneton. It's bad enough in Ruby and Sapphire when that's his ace, but in Emerald version, he also has a Magnetric, which hits even harder, but is nowhere near as tanky. But if you can't take that Magneton out quickly, life's gonna suck. And the only move I have that can do a reasonable amount of damage to it is Mud Slap. I'm not looking forward to this. And we're back! I'm not looking forward to this. Not one bit. This is usually the first gym leader that's ever going to give you any challenges, unless of course you picked Mudkip at the start of the game, in which case he's basically free. So, yeah. Now, as Voltorb likes to, to blow itself up on you, I'm not worried about that. What I am going to do is something I almost never do. Yeah, I actually got some X-Attacks. Because I want to make sure I can take out that Magneton as quickly as I can. So we're going to use all these, at least until Voltorb blows up, and a Dire Hit, just to ensure that it goes down. Good thing Luron's so tanky, huh? Alright. Let's just heal you back up real quick. I don't feel bad about this one bit. His Pokémon are such massive trolls. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off, dude! Yeah. Yeah. That, that happened. Okay. Maybe I deserve that, but frankly, I don't think I did. This guy is just such a bitch. Yeah, those hells aren't gonna help you, dude. Alright, now, let's see what Mudslap does to Electrike. That's more like it. Okay, maybe I could take on Magneton. I know it's kind of cheap, but frankly, Watson having a fucking Magneton is cheap. I don't feel bad about this one bit. Eat shit, old man. I'm going to beat you down with the power of money. Well, GG. Did I really deserve that? 
Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah, I did. Because if I hadn't done that, believe me, that would have been much more frustrating. And, uh, ain't nobody got time for that. And there's Shockwave. His signature move. And we're out of here. First, let's heal. And the next stop is going to be Burn Turf Town and the Rust Turf Tunnel. So let's switch out, and I will see you all in about a minute. And we're back! So, yeah, remember when I said this place is bugged? Watch. Yeah, for some reason, it makes you spawn on this side, which is not where you're supposed to go. But while we're here, let's go and take a look at something. After you got your third badge, the guy from Demicorp shows up. And he will give you... a repeat ball. Which, it just has a higher catch rate against Pokémon you've already captured before. Mm, it's better than nothing. And now let's go back in and do what we actually came here for. But first, okay, let's actually let's pop a repel, because otherwise we're just gonna get pestered by Whisper all the way through. And now we got our way through the tunnel. And this is how you get HM Strength, which I will need the fourth badge to use. Occasionally when you break a rock, a wild Pokémon will appear. As I'd said all the way back when I caught Auron, that's the only way you can get Nose Pass, for one. You have to do that in Granite Cave. Max either. Stores all the power points of any one move. And there's a trainer in here too, a hiker. Good question. Now you may ask, okay, so why did I do what I did against Watson? It's totally not because I tried to beat him ten times off camera. No, that would be ridiculous. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. And there's one more thing we can get. We go down here, and there's this point Dexter here who lost his glasses. But if you use the item finder, and go over here, you'll find black glasses. Talk to the guy. These are not the glasses he was looking for. What they do is they boost the attack power of dark type attacks, which, um,. I don't know if I'll even be able to make use of. I don't know if any of my Pokémon even learned Dark Strike attacks, other than maybe Thief. And we get a hit point up. Do I want to use the hit point up? Eh, yeah, why not? I'll use it on my tank, make it a little tankier. Anyways, moving on, and we're back! So... The whole reason you need Rock Smash, other than to get strength, is this. This lets you break through to the north and get to the next act of the game. And I think this is where we're going to stop off for now. But just to foreshadow, next time we'll be talking to these two assholes. Anyway, 
Hope you liked what you see. If you liked, um, like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Rumble page. I'll see you all next time. <laughs>